today I'm doing a video on how I edit my Instagram photos. If you want any more videos like this, please comment and subscribe down below. So the first thing I do is open the photos app because that's where I store everything. So all my photos and videos are on here. I also keep them on a hard drive because my computer runs out of storage, but I keep all my favorite photos on this app. So once I've selected the photo I want to edit, I mark it as a favorite. I just do this because once I go into the website that I use for editing, it's a lot easier to identify the photo that I want to use. I then open Safari and enter picmonkey.com.au. This is just a free website that I use and it's really good because it has a lot of features. You can get the upgraded version as well, but I'm pretty sure that costs money, so I just go for the free one. I then go open and my computer and select the photo that I want to edit through photos and favorites. So once it loads, I look how it is and check the focus. The first thing I usually do is crop it to match how I want to post in the Instagram app. So I usually go square and then I just resize it to how I want it to look. I then edit my photo. So I usually do brightness and that's just showing the high and lows of the brightness and I usually turn it up because it looks a lot better when it's a lot brighter. And then I do exposure as well and also the other ones. I'll just turn out the brightness so you can see. So basically I just turn the levels up and down and see which looks right. I don't really have a set one for each photo because each photo is quite different in its colors. So I just go through them all and see how they look. Once they're done, I click apply and you can also do auto adjust, which is quite good. The next thing I do is go into text and put the piggy parade on each photo that I do. I use my own text, which I downloaded from the internet. So you just select that, but there are heaps of fonts already on there. So you can just select one of them if you want. I then type in the name of my Instagram account and then adjust the size and also color to see which matches. I usually only stick to black and white, so that's all I've done so far, but for this one I'm going to do black because the background's white. I then move the text box around to see where it looks best. I usually put it in a corner and for this one I think it goes better in the bottom left corner. So that's where I'll put it and then I'll just adjust it in the corner to make it look right. So once I've done that, I just click save and you can do two ways, you can save it by the app or you can just download the photo. I find it easier just to download it and then save it to downloads, so that's what I do. So once I exit Safari, I go into Finder and look at the photo. It isn't really saved as an image straight from the internet, so I change the name and also save it so it's in an image format but this time it won't let me because I have so many photos named the same thing. So once I've got the right name, I just click save and then that's all done. I then go into mail because I use my iPad to post. So I just email it to myself. So I just go attachments and the picture that I want to include. When you're emailing, just remember to click actual size rather than downsize it to large, medium or small because that'll just make the image poor quality and it won't be as good to post. I then just send it and then open my iPad. So once I've opened my iPad, I go into mail to get the email that I just sent and then it'll download and I just click save image. So that way I know it's in photos library so it's good to post. So I just go straight into Instagram. Once it's finally loaded, I click the plus button and wait for my image to come up. Once that's there, I click next, but my iPad can't deal with the bigger size of the photo. So it usually crashes twice before it actually works. So then I just go back in and try again. So once it's actually working the third time round, I go into the editing part. I find Instagram really good to edit 
because of its filters and how you can adjust the brightness. I usually just flick through the filters and see what looks best. I often use Lark because it brings out the brightness in the photos. But this time I'm just going to go normal because I've already edited it. I then go into the settings and just look at each of the options and see what looks best. And then I just go through each of them to see what it looks like. I don't really use saturation much. I find it brings out the yellow too much. So I usually just leave it on zero. And then another one I like to use is sharpness. There's not really much difference, but it does change it slightly. So I usually just turn it up quite a bit just to make it a lot more defined. So then I click next and I will type in my caption and then I'll also tag people that I need to and then I'll click share. So after it's crashed, I open it up again. I look at it in my feed and see how it looks. In this case, it looks all right, so I'll keep it there. Then I'll go into comments and type my hashtags. So that is how I edit my Instagram photos. Please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe down below and see you next time.